Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at a different way that we can drill holes within 1CNC. Now, in our last hole video, we used this option here called Drill Single. When you use Drill Single, you manually select the holes that you'd like to drill, and then when you're done with that, you click Finish, and then you go to work. All right, I'm going to cancel out of this. In this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to use this Drill Hole Wizard. So, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and push the geometry right there. Now, as soon as you select Hole Wizard, 1CNC automatically scans the geometry within the drawing area. This could be solid model, this could be wireframe geometry, or a combination of both. Alright, so it scans the solid model, and what it does is it groups the holes into different groups based upon their diameter and depth. You can see that for this part, for this geometry, 1CNC has found two different groups. And as I left click on each one of these groups, it highlights in red over there in the graphics area. Okay, if you want to drill this, you just simply check it. All right, if you want to drill this group, you simply check that one. All right, now we've already clean circled this hole out here, so we don't need to machine that. So I'm just going to check this, this top one up here, and when we're done with that, we'll click next. So here's our clearances dialog box, and we've seen this before. We've got our rapid plane set at half of an inch. Our plunge clearance, has, I have that set to 50 thousandths. That's where it's going to start drilling down. And then our material top, don't forget that these pockets are already machined at minus 0.75. So the material top's at minus 0.75 because these holes are inside of the pockets. All right. If, you, if I put zero here, just to re, uh, reaffirm this, if I put zero here, what well, would happen is the drill cycle would start 50 thousandths above Z0, and you'd have a lot of drilling dead, dead air space there. All right. So we're going to put minus 0.75 for that. We'll click Next. All right, so another neat thing about the hole wizard is that you have the ability to perform several drilling operations to each one of these holes. All right, so for example, we could, for example, we could uh, pre-drill, we could drill, maybe we want to countersink and also tap. So here you can see I would perform four different operations on all those holes. Now to keep things simple for this demonstration, I'm going to delete those. I'm going to right click and just select remove all and just confirm that. And let's just select drill. Now notice over here on the right, this is a preview of the drill, of the actual hole. Right now it's solid, so there's no machining that's been done yet. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to fill out the parameters for this drill operation. Now if you forget to fill the parameters out and click Finish, 1CNC will give you this message right here. So just click OK and then come back over here. To fill in the parameters, just simply double click on the option there and then you'll get your, your dialog box that you're already familiar with. So we're going to say this is in turret position number three. I'm going to give it a spindle speed of 2,000 RPM and give it a feed rate of five inches. Uh, the reason why there's an XY feed rate and a Z feed rate is because there's more than just drilling you can do to these holes. You could helical, you could profile them, you could clean circle pocket them. But for right now, the plunge feed rate is going to be 2.5 for my drill. I'm going to change the tool type to drill. And of course, you can pick a tool out of the library, but I'm just going to create one real quick here. Let's make this 0.375. That looks good. And our included angle, that's the tip on the drill there. Let's make that 118. OK, so we have some different hole styles up here. We have machine cycle and drilling. These are your two different drilling operations. Machine style, that's for a can cycle. Automatic drilling, that's simply just going to output G1s and G0s. In other words, it's just going to output rapid and feed moves. All right, so there's can cycle drilling, there's no can cycle drilling. But also note if you wanted to, you could profile, you could helical machine, or perform a clean circle pocket on all those as well. We're going to go with just a can cycle drilling operation. And then we have our hole depth. I'm going to say incremental, that way the distance is going to be measured from the bottom of the pocket. Remember we typed in minus 0.75, so I'm going to say incremental, and I'm going to say the amount I want is 300 thousandths. If I chose absolute, then I would need to type in an absolute value from Z0, and you'd want something like minus 1.2 or something like that. But to keep things easy, I'm going to say incremental, and I just want it to push through 300 thousandths. That looks good, so we'll click next. Now don't forget, I chose can cycle here, so when I click next, 1CNC allows me to select which can cycle I'd like to use. I'm going to use a G83 deep hole, and for our cut increment or pec depth, I'm going to put 100 thousandths for that. This retract, this is just your G98 and G99, but we don't need to worry about that for now. So we'll click Finished on that. And there's the preview. You can see there's the preview of the drill. If we had chamfered this, uh, you, you'd see different things appear over here as an, a confirmation that you filled these uh, values out here. This all looks good, so now we can click Finish. 
and there you go. There is the drill hole wizard command that's been added to our NC manager. And also remember too that when you use this uh, hole wizard, one CNC is going to scan your geometry. It could be solid model or wireframe. It's going to group the holes into separate groups based upon their diameters and depth of cut. And it's also going to allow you to perform several operations, machining operations to all those holes all at the same time. It's a very, very powerful command. It's called the Drill Hole Wizard. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.